How are you doing, Cardinal Lacrosse fans? My name is Cody Matthews here with WJU Lax TV. Today with me today is head coach Kevin Dugan. Coach, how are you doing today? Uh, doing great, Cody. Thanks for the work you're doing. Uh, you know, with our program and WJU Lax TV, I know that uh, it's going to be a really, really nice way for uh, for fans and parents and recruits and alumni to follow our team this spring. So thanks for your work. So, coach, in the past week we had a scrimmage against Mount Union. How do you think the team did in that game? Uh, we felt really well uh, coming out of Saturday's scrimmage against Mountain Union. I think that we looked uh, we looked big, bigger, faster, stronger. Um, so, um, and we executed really well. There's a lot of things that we've. It's one thing to just you know feel like you're going out and maybe you're a little more talented than the team and you just uh, run by them or make plays because you're just a little bit better. But it, um, which I felt was the case a little bit. But we also felt like we executed really, really well. Uh, a lot of the things we've been working on throughout the fall and preseason practice and uh, came away real impressed too with the future and direction of the Mountain Union program. Their coach Brian Stewart's a class act and a great guy uh, with a real impressive resume and experience at Limestone and Salisbury so I know that they're gonna be uh, charging hard in the right direction and a force to reckon with this spring. Um, you know, so felt real good about, uh, about everything coming out of the scrimmage. So, Coach, this Wednesday's the season opener for the 2015 season. How uh, do you think the boys are going to do so far? I know that they're just dying and excited to uh, to hit the field for the season opener. So, um, yeah, I I'm not worried about their intensity level. I'm not worried about their uh, their sense of enthusiasm heading into Wednesday's game. Um, yeah, we're working hard to get ready. We don't know a whole lot about Roberts Wesleyan. They open their season on Monday at Ohio Valley. Uh, so hopefully we can learn a little bit more about them following that game as we look at just stats and film and, and, and try to determine things. But the season opener, you're always kind of, the first couple games of the year, you're always more worried about yourself and making sure that, you know, that, and making sure for us that, you know, that, that we're executing what we want to execute and not worry about the other team as much. Um, but we are, you know, we are looking at some film from last year that we have of them, getting ready for, you know, for zone. If they throw a little zone at us, and playing them and playing a team that plays zone a little bit is a good early in the year because it forces you as a coach to have to work on zone offense a little bit, which is something that you can kind of um, can catch you off guard in games if you're not working on it. So um, we've been just working on a few things to get ready for adjustments on how they might play us, but for the most part, we've really just been worrying about. You know, what does Wheeling Jesuit need to do? What's our identity and, and what do we need to do on Wednesday to come out and, and be ready for uh, a regulation lacrosse game? So being the head coach, you get a very good look at every player. Who do you think this year is going to be one of the most outstanding players for the roster? I think we'll have a lot of newcomers that, that surprise people. I also, though, uh, I think that we'll have several guys that have come back from last season much better. Joe Wright is one that jumps out at me right away as being a uh, a drastically improved player from last season. Uh, but the one player that I think is just going to really be a critical player and do a lot of things that help us this spring is Luke Gilman. Um, Luke is a sophomore, newcomer though, uh, transferred to us from Franciscan. Uh, re just really athletic kid. He was their leading scorer on their team last year and played attack. He's going to be playing defensive midfield for us this year. Uh, really excited about uh, Luke's athleticism, skill set, his leadership. He's got a real humble spirit and soulfulness about him that I think uh, rubs off on his teammates. And he's just uh, whatever it can, whatever he can do to help the team, he does it. And that's just a critical position I think that we have to fill this year with the graduation of our top D Midi Aaron Gofried last year. Luke's been stepping in and doing a great job last year. He's an early candidate for the Unsung Hero Award, if you will, um, before the season even, season even starts. I think, I think people will be real impressed with him as uh, the season goes on, and hopefully he helps us you know, win, win the close games. We all know that we got everybody back on defense, um, but Luke Gilman will be the guy at the short stick defensive midfield position that I think um, hopefully can um, handle the task of filling the big shoes that Aaron Gofried left when he graduated last year. So coach, big question for you, Katy Perry or Taylor Swift, who's your go-to girl? Um, I like, uh, I gotta say Taylor Swift because of respect her songwriting. I respect the fact that she can play guitar as well. I think you have a lot of a lot of today's top musicians and rock stars on the radio that, that can't even pick up an instrument. And the fact that she can actually play the guitar, write her own songs, 
um, is pretty impressive. She's not just somebody that's just up there in front of a microphone. Um, so I think that uh, I think I'm going to have to have to go with Taylor Swift on that one. So. I'd like to thank Coach Dugan for stopping by today to talk with us, and thank you, Cardinal Nation, for coming out and watching this interview.